How's it going guys? David Crandall here with FL Studio School. Wanted to show you guys how you can get more microphone inputs on your interface. This particular interface is a Tascam US1641. This says on the product description it has 16 channels. But on the front we have only 8 XLR channels, 2 quarter inch channels right here and if we turn it around We've got one, two, three, four inputs right here. And then right here, if you could see that, yeah, we have one stereo SP diff, which is digital input. So altogether we have two, because it's stereo, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So how do we get these and the inputs in the back to become mic inputs? How do we plug mic in it, mics into those? Well, what we do is we buy one of these. Now it doesn't have to be this exact one, but you want something like this. What this is is it's an eight-channel microphone preamp. Now basically what that means is it has mic inputs in the back, eight mic inputs, but they're pre-amplified, which basically means it's likely going to have phantom power and whatnot. So you have all your volume controls, and the cool thing here is you get two instrument inputs as well right here. Regardless, you have your eight mics, and then you have direct line outputs right here. So for microphone one, your output one is going to be right here. Okay, so that's where our quarter inch cables come into play. Now, these are really colorful quarter inch cables. I bought these on eBay, um, not just these two, it was a set of eight qu quarter inch cables and, and they're three feet long about 20 bucks on eBay. Shop around, you'll get something similar. And basically what you would do is for the first two channels, say channel one, you'll plug into channel nine. So now this is now a mic input. Now the reason I chose that one and two is because channel one also has an instrument input. So I'm not really losing the capability of plugging two quarter inches in the front. That's still there. But I also have the option to use a mic in the back instead of quarter inch. And then same thing if we turn the entire thing around. Let's say we want to plug channel mic three into input 11 right here. We'll say three and 11. There we go. And that's it. Do that for every single input. Now, obviously, for the last two, you're going to have to go in stereo through this little... Getting it in the camera. For this SP diff guy. Now, you can't just take stereo quarter inch and go into one RCA. That's not going to work. Because this is digital, and these are analog. So what you do, and I'll throw an image of what you can actually buy, which will probably work, um, is basically an analog to digital converter, which is essentially what an interface is. But what this little box will do, and I think they're battery powered, or you can plug them into the wall, is you can take two quarter inches, and they'll go, and basically what you'll do, it's kind of jerry-rigging it, but you'll take two quarter inches, and go to stereo RCA into the, your little digital box, then out of your digital box into SP diff. And that essentially will give you two more channels. So now, with that setup, I have a total of 16 microphone inputs. All right, my name's David Crandall. Sorry about the length and the sloppiness of this video. I just wanted to show you guys this, guys, this cool new, uh, this cool trick that I came across and it was a necessary upgrade because basically what I'm doing is I showed my studio is my goal 
is to have everything, like the guitar, my vocal mic, my keyboard, and my drums, and just have everything mic'd and ready to go. So if I want to record a full jam session with a whole band, I could do that. Or if I'm doing track at a time, I don't have to plug and unplug stuff over and over again. It's all ready to go. So, there you have it. The upgrade itself, about 200 bucks or so. And, uh, yeah, save up some money. This is definitely a great way to go. David Crandall here. FL Studio School, subscribe if you like stuff about music, recording, etc. Uh, until next time, have fun making music.